Hi, beautiful. I've been seeing so many people on TikTok using this Revlon blow dryer contraption thing brush, and I'm very, very intrigued by it. I need to give it a try. So of course I had to buy my own. Here we are, ooh. So from those TikToks I saw, this baby right here seems to blow out your hair extremely easily. It looks like it practically takes no effort. It's all just in one beautiful contraption that retails for $42.99, which is also super inexpensive. This could truly be a game changer if it works the way I want it to. I'm ready to try this and see if it works out, see if it really can make some hair beautiful shiny silky soft like you just left the salon and let's see if this is worth purchasing let's do it So first, we're gonna open the box, then we're gonna try it on my clients for today. We're gonna do a smooth, straight, kind of beveled ends look, and then we're gonna do one with a lot of volume and a lot of body in it. Let's see what's going on here. So we have cool tip, great, don't care, tangle-free combination bristles, uh, unique airflow vents, tufted bristles with boar technology. <laughs> Boar technology. It's just funny because like it's an animal. Like there's no technology behind a boar. Lightweight ergonomic design, multiple heat settings. Love that. Um, professional swivel cord. That's great too. It says it is designed in an oval to give you extra lift, smooth volume, and curled ends. Okay, work. 30% less frizz. Advanced ionic technology gives you the power to create a salon style of finish. Less frizz for shiny, healthy looking hair. Ceramic technology helps reduce damage from over styling with even heat distribution, making styling easy. Oh my god, this is like magical and I am excited to try it. It is a lot bigger in person. As you can see, I have about an average size head, maybe a little bit larger than average. It's like big. It's like the size of my face. It feels good. It's like sturdy. It, it's nice quality. The bristles are very firm. There's a lot of them. It has a matte handle, which I also like because when you put products in your hair and then you go and touch a soft handle, it like slips right out of your hand. It seems to be a pretty long cord. Uh, okay, well this cord actually is not very long. It's actually quite short. Why would you make a cord this short? Okay, fine. Maybe if you have a, a connector like right in front of you, but what if it's on the ground? We're plugged in. We're ready to go. Okay, so it looks like the heat settings are cool, low, and high. You really got me with that um, multiple heat settings quote on your box. I thought it was going to be like at least low, medium, and high, you know, but I'll take it. Let's turn it on. This is low. This is high. It definitely smells like burning plastic. Um, it also is quite loud. I guess that's fine. If you are into loud blow dryers, it's not gonna make me not wanna use the product, you know? So now we've kind of figured out what's going on here, how to use it. This also doesn't heat up, so you can really go like this with it and like kind of put your fingers in and like move like that, you know? I like the way they did this kind of like a dip in there. Obviously this is meant to really be used on your own head. It's gonna be a little bit different for me because I'm not using it on my own head. I think I'll still get a pretty good idea if it works or not. Let's grab my first client today who wants a straight blowout and I'm gonna give it to her. And here we have my client for today. She just got a beautiful shampoo from my, um, my colleague. She is about to get the blowout of her dreams. She said that she only wears her hair straight. So I said, perfect. Her hair tends to dry a little wavy. I know it looks very straight right now, but it actually does dry quite wavy. It's just weighed down by the water in her hair. I am going to start the blow dry on her damp hair. But first I'm going to apply product because product is super important to getting a really wonderful, beautiful blowout. If you do not use product and you blow out your hair, you're losing at life. There's no point um, because your blow is never gonna look that good without the proper products. So these two products are really my go-to when it comes to a blow drying. This is called Force Field Heat Shield. Protects your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna spray this all over her hair in a fine mist. This will also help add a lot of shine. So you get extra shine with these two products. And now we're gonna put in a whole bunch of electric rain, just like that. You can always build up on this. You don't have to put it all in at once. And I'm just gonna put it throughout her whole entire head. That makes your hair super soft and shiny without weighing it down. You can really start on the ends, focus on the driest parts, and then work it all the way through. Really get in those bangs everywhere you want it to be shiny and smooth and silky, which is hopefully everywhere. All right, now I'm just gonna comb those two products together and create a beautiful cocktail of products. And we're also gonna see how this thing works with some bangs. It is very large. I don't know how it's really gonna get these bangs in there without giving her a ton of volume, but I guess the brush is meant to give a lot 
lot of volume, so I guess it's fine. I am going to do my basic thing where I first section out wherever you wanna part your hair, and then I'm going to do my wonderful little halo circle section. It's literally just taking out a center circle. So it should look something like this. It is just the perimeter all let down and the rest is clipped up in the back. Now, the perimeter is always the hardest part to blow dry. It always has the most kinky curliness going on and the edges are usually not straight like the mannequin has it. So we're gonna work on those bits first and start in the back and work our way forward. So I'm gonna go in and just brush it first like that. And I guess I'm just gonna use kind of this motion, kind of flatten it out as much as possible and hold my hand on it and then give a little bevel towards the ends and let it go. That'll give me like a really nice straight look instead of curly, I think. I'm gonna turn on high. I'm like really shocked. Okay, I expected it to be pretty good from the videos I saw, but that was so easy. It blow dried the hair so fast. Now, I don't know if this is the best thing for your hair. It gets really hot. If you're using heat protectant and you have, you know, a good combination of bristles here, you have the bore, so it's gonna help distribute oils, keep the integrity of your hair without pulling too much. I do think it's pretty damn good. It got the hair so smooth and so straight so quickly. And what I was doing there, I don't know if you saw, but I was, is actually putting it on top of the hair and not just underneath. I feel like that helped smooth the top out as well as the bottom and it really worked very well. And it also gave the perfect amount of bevel at the ends. I'm gonna keep going and then tell you guys how I feel when I get further in. It's really straight. I'm giving a lot of credit to this. It is extremely, extremely, it's really hot. Do not touch it like I just did. It's a little concerning how hot it is. Also though, if you want your hair to be this straight and you're gonna try this on your own hair, please use product. It is not going to be this straight unless you use product, I swear to you. It's not gonna come out this silky and soft. So if you don't get the same results, you can try it at home without product. Don't say it until you saw. It's obviously looking really good, and I have to say, it works well so far. As you can see, I'm also doing zero elevation when I use this. That's why it's coming out really flat. If you don't want it flat like this, you wouldn't go on the top of the hair and push it down like I am. I want it to be super flat and straight. That's why I'm doing that. If not, you can really take up the hair and bring it all the way up here. Am I getting as smooth of a blowout as I would if I was using a brush and a blow dryer? I don't know. Some of this stuff, like those layers coming out right there, I would have been able to like get them down, but with this, the air is kind of blowing everywhere, so it's kind of pushing all the hair up as I'm kind of going down, but it's not the worst thing ever, and it's super user-friendly. So we are on the bang section. Now we are going to try and give her some side bangs. You know, we're gonna take these pieces and kind of pull them back this way. However, this brush is really big, so I don't know how that's gonna work, but let's go ahead and try it. I'm gonna put it on low this time. Okay, so here are the bangs and obviously they look pretty good. What was cool about this is that you can literally use it as a brush and just kind of brush the bangs back after you blow dry them and it gives it a nice bevel and gets them out of your face very nicely. So I really like that. I think at the end, once everything is blow dried, I'll probably go back and push them a little bit more further back, but they look pretty good. And for being just a one size fits all kind of brush, I'm impressed. I am just going to take this out, section this into two, and do about four more sections to finish this. Okay, wow. Her hair is really, really straight. There's literally no frizz. Really impressed so far. If you have literally no experience using a blow dryer and brush together and doing the whole regular old thing, I understand why you would use something like this. It makes everything just so much easier. It made her hair so pin straight, so beautiful, pretty much like she walked out of the salon. So I'm really enjoying it so far. Let's move on to doing a beautiful, wavy, voluminous blowout and let's see how it performs with that. I'm sure it's gonna be just as good, so let's do it. Okay, my next client has arrived. Hi ma'am, how are you today? So she has her hair nice and washed and damp and this wonderful color she has going on is kinda cool. So first we're gonna be putting some product in her hair. Of course we're gonna be using Electrified to get a ton of volume in her hair. This stuff will literally give you the most volume even if you've never had volume in your entire life. So I'm just going to put this all up at the crown of her head and in the front and just get that in there. Now it's very lightweight but really packs a punch and you're gonna get a ton 
a volume from this product. Like I promise. So I'm just kind of sectioning out her roots and just getting it in there with the comb. Now we don't have to put all the product down here or anything because you don't want volume on your neck. And if it looks all foamy like this, it's totally fine. Leave it like that. It'll dry nicely. Now we're going to spray a bit of our force field heat shield to get heat protection. And for the ends for added moisture without weighing it down, we're going to use electric rain moisture cream. And that'll really make sure her ends are super smooth and silky. And of course, comb it all through. Okay, so the sectioning we're gonna do for this one is we're going to take this mohawk section I'm gonna be using some clips to clip up her hair as I go. That way we can get some extra volume in there and extra curls. So I've done the top section, which is just kind of this horseshoe shape up here. And now I'm just gonna section everything else in half. And you really don't have to make your sections too perfect or else you'll end up with like lines from where you blew it out. So sectioning with your hands is totally okay, dude. Okay, so we're gonna section this out into two and these will be our first two sections. Let's go ahead and give this some nice curl. Okay, so as you can see here, I went like this and really curled the hair over and over again in order to get this actual like beautiful little movement we got going here. So to make this set in place like this, I'm just gonna take these two sections and clip them up. Let's move on to the next section, do the same exact thing. So I'm gonna start off by just blow drying the top really quick to get all that moisture out and then I'm gonna go underneath. I'm still obsessed. I'm just gonna finish this off. Um, you guys saw what I just did. Four sections, two sections that were put into one, and now I'm just gonna separate this one up here into probably three and just get it all blow dried and always lifting the sections up as high as they can go. Okay, now I just tried the cool setting and I do have to say the cool setting doesn't work. The bristles get so hot that it takes so long to actually cool the brush down. So it kind of just puts out less hot air if you use the cool setting after the hot. Okay, so I finished the blow dry. As you can see, it's looking good so far. Let's see what kind of bounce and volume we got here. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh my God. This is so pretty. Oh my God, look at this blowout. Um, yes, 100% it's gonna be a yes. Okay, she looks incredible. I mean, like even if you went like this, like she probably looks even better. Like, ugh. it doesn't even go down. It's like, boop, back up. All right, well, I have come to a conclusion on this Revlon mechanism thing. Let me share my findings with you. Let me tell my clients goodbye, goodbye, and let's move on. Okay. I think you guys can already tell how I feel about this product. I love it. You guys saw what we did today, what we accomplished with just this one brush. It made everything so much easier and so much faster. The blowouts went by probably two times quicker than they usually would. And I just feel like it was easier for me to just use one arm instead of two and get them all cranking and doing this shit. It's a great tool to have. If you are somebody who doesn't like styling their hair and you wanna be lazy with it, but you want it to look really good, this is for you. So simple and so fast. I think it being priced at $42.99 is a wonderful price for this. You're getting a brush and a blow dryer all in one for that. And it's a really great brush with a lot of bore and plastic bristles that work superb. And it detangles the hair really nicely and very easily. So yes, great price. If you guys wanna purchase this or anything you saw in today's video, it'll be linked below for you. You. Definitely approve of this. Definitely want to see the styles you guys create with this if you end up buying it. And yeah, Revlon, great job. I will be keeping this for myself. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Go for it. And also click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you guys would like to text me, here is my number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I do see your messages. And I do text some of you back if you text me right now. Also, this will keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you guys want to follow me everywhere else, here are all my social media handles. All around me. If you want amazing hair care and amazing hair color, you can check out my brand Xmondo at xmondohair.com. It is linked below. You can shop the products we use in today's video as well as all kinds of different hair colors. If you guys want other hair inspiration, you can check out our Instagrams at xmondohair and xmondocolor. 
So go for it. If you guys want to live your extra life with me, you can check out my Live Your Extra Life merch. It is all so freaking cute. If you want to shop this collection, you can write down below at xmodohair.com. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Chloe and she says, hey Brad, I constantly watch your videos and I enjoy watching them. Thank you, Chloe. I've been really wanting to change up my hair lately and I've been blonde for my whole life and I want to try something new. I have had blonde highlights before and I was wondering what your thoughts were about me changing up my hair color to this. I personally love this first look the most. This kind of deeper, warmer base with the nice champagne highlights on it. It's super glowy and beautiful. I love it. Um, I think this will look so incredible on you and even the length will look really good. So definitely give it a try. Give it a little chop, do a little root shadow and add some beautiful baby lights up there. It will look so good on you. Give it a try and if you do it, I would love to see a photo. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.